Germans will stop at nothing till they find you. I'm not giving up. We're not giving up. Up, up! It'll be here only for a short time. But what we do while we're here? Changes the course of the future. Well, good afternoon. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It, lo it looks like you're in our signal room. Yes. <laughs> of the SOE. <laughs> <laughs> what I a fascinating it. film. I, you know, three women who worked as spies in Churchill's secret army. It just shows you the women's contribution to the war effort. I'm, I'm sure there's so many stories out there. When you first heard about this story, did you say to yourself, what an undertaking because it's a period piece, the costumes, the locations. Was you nervous or excited or what was your reaction? Well, I, Jeffrey, I've been a producer for a lot of my career and I've made a lot of period films and I felt like I could meet this challenge. <laughs> I, uh, I was, it, it was daunting um, in the beginning, but I was so drawn by the stories of these three women. Noor I had heard of, I worked in India a lot in the UK. Um, Vera and Virginia's story was totally new to me, but it was an incredible opportunity to really, you know, take an Indian, an American, and a Romishan. And, and Sarah Megan Thomas, writer, producer, star, playing Virginia Hall. Tell me about working together. What was your secret to a successful relationship? Well, I think that Sarah was interested in my experience. Um, I had, I had. Was, I'm a little longer in the tooth um, on that on that front, um, but I think she felt I, th I think she felt comfortable knowing that I was going to be able to make a plan that was achievable and ambitious, but but yet um, you know within the bounds of what we could do. And she you know was an actor in the movie, so she had to devote a lot of her time to really you know to focusing on her character and her preparation for the character and everything that she had to do there. So. We, um, yeah, so we just navigated and found our way. And working with Hall's surviving relatives, what, did that provide just an incredible resource for the movie? You know, Sarah did all of the, re the early research with Virginia Hall. A lot of my research happened in the archives of the War Imperial War Museum in London and also in the Resistance Museum in Lyon, which um, actually was housed in a building that Klaus Barbie used as headquarters when he came to Leon. So I had um, I had wanted to go to Leon myself to just kind of walk in the shoes of Virginia Hall and go to the places that she had been and um, sort of experience what it was like when, with a wooden leg when you get on a bike and you ride from the city to the country. I mean, me reading it on the page, I was like, what? You know, but when I went there and I really lived it and, and, and saw it, I could understand it. And um, that's really where a lot of my research was focused. It was focused on the resistance, you know, the resistance like to be there and doing that work. And what was the most challenging aspect of shooting this film? Was there a specific scene or a sequence that you were kind of, you know, worried about or was the most challenging? I think that, you know, sometimes there were decisions to be made. I mean, with Noor's, with Noor's ending, you know, there, there were different accounts of how it actually happened. And I thought a lot about how I wanted to treat that. And I wasn't even sure until we were doing it on the day, which way I was gonna go. But her name um, is an Arabic word for light. And she was the one, the three of the three women, she w was the one who was really an idealist and she, really was doing it for all the higher moral ground motivations that anyone could do something for. And so um, it was, um, you know, she was, I, I think everybody knows because it's a true story that she ends up in Dachau concentration camp. And so that was, that was, a, that was a scene that had carried a lot of um, responsibility and had a lot of significance and importance to me as a filmmaker. And I'm not going to say anything else because there might be people listening who haven't seen the movie, but um, when, yeah. you see that, when you see that scene, you'll know what I'm talking about. And, and filming in Philadelphia and Budapest, you know, some of these cities are stuck in time are just perfect for these period films, aren't they? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, there are a lot of movies are about World War II are made in Budapest because of the 
the um, the architect of the city or of much of the city is, it was also an architect of, from that did a lot of the city in Paris. And so there's a lot of com, you know there's a lot of comparisons. And Lyon has these rivers, and Budapest has a river. And you could really you could really quite easily blend it into the French landscape. And finally today. Having the world premiere at the Edinburgh Film Festival, that experience, 75th anniversary of D-Day. I mean, what, tell me about that experience. It had to be just, just overwhelming. Well, we, um, I love Edinburgh because um, there's, also, you know, there's a great artistic tradition there. And I think that um, we had edited part of the movie in London because I wanted to work with Paul Tothill, who was a British editor. And we agreed that we would do my director's cut in London and then he would come to New York and we would finish there. Um, but I think that what, what's really special is that almost everybody that you meet in UK or Europe even has a World War II story in their family. And it's, so it's a, there's a different kind of connection to this particular story there than, than we get here. Um, and even, even the actors, when we were casting, I wanted to cast as many French, British, German um, actors as possible to hold on to as much authenticity. And everyone could tell me a story about something with World War II in their family. And it was, I wish <laughs> I wish I had, I could cut myself in two and make a documentary on the side, but, um, it's all, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's very moving to be connected to people who really live through the time. Well, I'd, all I had to hear was Churchill's Secret Army for your film, and I was sold because I'm a big World War II buff, big history buff, mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. was just a, a side of the war that I hadn't seen before. Congratulations, and thanks for talking to me today. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck with the film. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Great.